<laughs> Look at me spin like a ballerina. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Dream Team for the Nintendo 3DS. Before we get started, if you can, do me a favor and hit that like button for me. Remember, guys, if this video reaches over 500 likes, I will keep the Mario and Luigi Dream Team Marathon going. Anyways, when we last left off, he left off here on the Pillow Castle Bridge after defeating the Fly Guy R's for the, uh, the the fifth and final part of the Ulta Bed, which was the Dozing Sand Jellyfish Sheets. The dozing, the dozing sand jellyfish sheets was the thing. I think was the, I think it's the name. I don't remember. I honestly have a hard time like remembering that name. The driftwood jellyfish sheets, not the dozing sand. Did I say dozing sand? I, I meant to say driftwood. I think. I don't know honestly what I meant to say, but there you go. We got the jellyfish sheets today, my friends. We're gonna be making our way back down to Wakeport because um, we're not gonna be talking to the bedsmith. That's not what we're doing today, so don't get your hopes up. We have actually some other pressing matters that we need to attend to, and that, guys, is uh, first off getting a nice coffee because, I mean, it's the best way to start off the morning, a nice clean Pilate that will ref ref re re replenish your health and bro points. That's honestly the best way to get kicking with the day. I think there's something up there, but we need the ball. Let me see what, let me see what is up there. It better be some thumps. Some Ooh, 50, 50, 50 coins. Nothing more. I, I, I don't know, man. I love coins in this game. All right. We're going to go ahead and take this the easy way back to Wakeport. Uh, we're just going to go to downtown. And uh, we're going to be battling two people today. Um, you could say it's like a boss battle, I guess. But if you guys remembered, I actually said that I wanted to take out Popil. Popil. Pop, 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 something like that. I don't know his name, man. I don't know how it's pronounced. But he's the guy who goes around... Uh, Bean Bean Castle and or Bean Bean Island and now Pillow Island stealing things. Hey, is that who I think it is? Let's see. Yup, that is him. Cripes took me a while, but I found it. The secret of that pillow pillopper. The pillopper. What the fudge is a pillopper? The secret of that pillopper's creep house. Is that like civilian pillowins pillopper? Why hide it on the second floor entrance like that? It was right there in front of my nose the whole time, see? Jackpot! <laughs> Those dripples know I'm making for the second floor, but their snooping ain't gonna stop me, see? I swiped this here map from the info center, so finding the way in will be a snitch. Perfect! <laughs> as soon as I snatch that loot, I'm booking it out here. Alright, yeah, I, I don't know what he's trying to say, but... Uh, I, I think he's he's trying to steal something. He's on another job, you could say. I never understood a word he's saying. Dude, same here. I literally didn't even know she was going to say that. But it sounds like the pillow collector lives here. Or like a pillow collector lives here, not the. I guess there's multiple pillow collectors in this game. But we need to follow him because this guy's up to no good, obviously. And if we let him escape, then he's going to do something really, really, really bad. And by really bad, I mean just steal something. Stealing is not good. Don't steal. Don't ever bring yourself to stealing because it's a really bad habit. It's like an addiction. I used to know people who steal a lot and like they were addicted to it. They'd steal one thing and then they just strive to steal more things. And it starts off little. Like they start off with like something really small like a candy bar. And then that little thing will eventually grow into like stealing like cars and something like that. And trust me, I've, I've, I've been with, I've known people who've done that and it's not good. All right. Oh, what's going on? What's up? It doesn't look like anyone comes back here. It's so different from the bustle of Wakeport. The peace and quiet is a nice change of pace. Uh oh. Huh? You see someone? Where? Hey, it's him again. What's he doing? So I finally found the way to the hidden treasure. But what's that thing wandering around? La 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 la. That's so Wiggler. They're so fruity in this game. Traveling is kinda neat. Or I don't know, maybe I should give him a higher pitch voice. But 
All these people around me really, really wear Wiggler out. Wiggler's missing the smell of Wiggler's garden. I'm Wiggler. There's a bunch of flowers around here, and there aren't a ton of people around. I guess. I mean, that's good. Wiggler's got it. What has he got? What are you doing, Wiggler? Wiggler will make a field of flowers right here. That should help Wiggler relax. Okay, let's go to it. Okay, um... That weird bug thing is patrolling the area. Smells like the fuzz. That collector must have hired a security guard. Popple ain't gonna mess this one up, see? Gotta be real cautious, like. Alright, so, uh, we're just gonna go sneak up on Popple. Ah! Ah! Man, I don't like those. Uh, but before we do that, there's actually a nice pillow hiding back here. It's really easy to to save. Um, this is one of the many pillows here in Wakeport. I don't actually recall uh, finding any pillows in Wakeport. Maybe we found a couple, but I think this might be the third one, if not the second. Because I, I do remember one for sure, but other than that, I can't remember any other pillows that we've collected here in Wakeport. But this one's pretty straightforward. It's been a long time since we've been in Dream World Wake and uh, Dreamy Wakeport. Brings back a lot of memories from the big massive hunt days in Sorrow Fist and all those other muscle head guys that we had to battle. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys, I honestly don't like it. It's not, it's not good memories, man. I just don't, I just didn't like that part of the game. It's not like the, that part of the game was bad or anything. It's just I wasn't really a fan of it. It was really slow and pretty tedious and. Wakeport doesn't really have such a interesting dream uh, dream world. I mean, some dream worlds are just outstanding and beautiful, like like Mount Pajama just dream world. That's honestly my favorite. That's my favorite dream world in um, or Pajamaja. A lot of people were upset that I was saying Pajamaja. Like, no, go back to saying Pajamaja. Pajamaja sounds cooler, but Pajamaja is the proper pronunciation for it. I'm pretty sure, or it could be pa Pajamaja. I don't know, but yeah, it's pretty easy to save this guy. There are three nightmare chunks just at the bottom. All you need to do is use the Luigi-nary tornado, and bam, you will make it. They're safe and sound with a nice, maybe 50 coins, 60 coins. I don't know how many coins we obtained, but we collected some coins. And there you go. That is the 30th pillow, folk. I think we should celebrate by, yeah, I don't know how we'll celebrate, but celebrate in your own little way for 30 pillows saved. All right, look at Luigi's eyes, look at Luigi's eyes, look at it, look at it, right now. What the duck? Why does he do that? He's like, whoa! I just saw something that I shouldn't have seen. Wow, I'm back to normal again. The sun feels so nice and warm. My head feels fluffy with purest joy. I can't thank you enough for saving me. No problem, buddy. You're a kind fella. He actually thanks us. All right, let's see what this place is. These ruined uh, parapets led to the... Pillopper, pillopper, the pillopper. What the heck is a pillopper? The pillow collector. No trespassing. Thank you kindly, pillopper. All right. See you hear that, man? You can't trespass, buddy. Scram! I'm busy. It's either nab the loot or go home empty-handed. The shadow thief's reputation is on the line. Got that? I said scram. Yeah. Don't go near that thing, ya palucas. Palookas? What the f- What is a palookas? Somebody define that right now. Please, define it right now. I would define it, but my phone's not near me. Oh boy, these strips again. What's with you mugs anyways? You keep crashing my parties. Aha! Heh! You guys are thieves too, ain't ya? No, no, dude, we don't steal. We're not like that. The Shadow Thief knows a thief when he sees one. Oh, screw you. I guess we kind of are thieves. I mean, remember a couple, a few episodes ago I was talking about how, like, Mario and Luigi will go around hitting blocks that don't belong to them and, like, taking coins and items that didn't actually belong to them from the get-go? Like, blocks in the open wild, I guess, are okay, but blocks in castles, like Pillow Castle, for example, when you hit a block in Pillow Castle in a room, I don't think that's their block. So, yeah, they kind of are thieves. Yeah, yeah, it all makes sense now I always run into you bearded mu you mean mustached mugs every time I'm about to lift something no wonder you two show up right now I can use these strips to KO the security guard then I'll steal the loot from the from under their big fat noses that's the ball game see the shadow thief wins hear me out 
We're both after the same thing, yeah? Let's team up. Before we can get inside the loot, before we can get the loot inside the house, we need to knock off the f or fuzzy wuzzy there. You know, the fuzz crimney bunch of amateurs. That buggy mug there is a security guard. He was hired by that freak pillow collector. Hmm. If Wiggler plants some red flowers around here, Wiggler could plant veggies over there. Yeah, he's gone. He's got the joint locked down real tight. You could tell from the face, but he's really a bruiser. Okay. You drips, let's do this. We're gonna ice that fuzzball right now, see? No, 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 dude, we don't wanna fight Wiggler, man. Wiggler's a nice guy. Actually, Wiggler isn't nice. In every game, we've actually had to battle him. Relax, will ya? We're just gonna talk. Okay, let's try that again. Hey, what up, Wiggler? Hey! Ah! He's just scared. You can't just walk in here like that. Wiggler's building a garden around here. Shut your trap up and beat it, punk. What? How dare you insult a Wiggler in Wiggler's flower sanctuary? Sanctuary, Wiggler found this place first, fair and square. Nyah ha ha. Bring it on, you wannabe moth. These two and I will cream ya. Did you just say moth? Wiggly Wiggler is full of... Rage! Alright guys, here we go. We have to fight Wiggler thanks to Popple or whatever his name is. So it's time for the fist, eh? Then this drip's gotta go. I'll take the first shot, see? You two mugs watch a master. So, uh, Wiggler will actually be pretty straightforward. Um, actually, both of these guys are pretty straightforward. What I'm gonna actually use to battle them are uh, bro moves. And there we go, we lost, we lost some HP. We actually lost a lot of HP. Hey, your turn to pull like palookas. What the fudge is a palooka? Give it the one, the old one too. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're first gonna do the bra the bomb uh, deer by. Okay, so I, I practiced it a little bit. So I think I'm, I'm a little better with hitting these things. I don't know if I can use them all, but I'm definitely a lot faster than I used to be with hitting the bombs. Uh, yeah, I filled that one up because I guess I was talking, but we can actually increase our pow. So we're going to be doing that right now. We're going to increase our pow for a short amount of time, and then we're going to do this move called the Slink Sniper. Man, this thing is the bomb. You don't even know, like for real though. Okay, watch. All right, watch this. Woo! Great. 268 damage dealt. And here comes Wiggly Wiggler. All right, is he coming back? Which way? Who are you going to hit, Mario or Luigi? There we go. We hit Mario. But yeah, now that we actually... Boo, I say! You two are rookies. Watch your real bro wrap it up. Oh, he's going to do something to piss him off. Okay, so we're going to use the bombs again. Oh, no, no, no. no. We need to use the bombs again. And hopefully that'll deal some more damage now we ha that we have this uh, increased pow. Ah, oh, come on, man. I didn't want to hit him. I didn't want to hit him. I wanted to hit Wiggler. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Cripes, you rookies take care of this. I don't know what that was, but he just gets in the way to interfere, so you're not actually hitting Wiggler, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Okay, so we're going to pull back again, and then we're going to do the same thing, which should get an excellent hit. Please get an excellent hit. Excellent hit with 289 damage. Bro's attack cleared number seven. All right, here we go. All right, sweet. He just hit him. Good attack, kid. Real good. But now it's Bobble's turn, see? Okay, so we're going to do this again. No, no, no. Where is that? Why do I keep switching out like that? I always switch to, like, attacks rather than bro attacks. All right. There we go. We got a gray. That's that's a come up. I mean, sooner or later I'll master that for sure. But yeah, I think Wiggler should be about almost dead. I mean, we've been dealing a lot of damage on him and um 
Luigi's honestly taking a lot more damage than Mario is. 308. Alright, here he comes! Woo! Yeah, I don't know how much HP Wiggler has, but it's probably more than a thousand, to say the least. Man, I can't even jump with that buttholes on me. Are you kidding me? Boo, I say you two are rookies. Watch a real pro wrap it up. Screw you, man. So when he's going to do that phase, I'm just going to use an alternate to restore... F Actually... Why be that greedy? Use an ultra mushroom on my boy Luigi, man. My boy Luigi needs it right now. Alright, Luigi. This is the part where... Ah, god dang... Alright, I'm just gonna jump on Wiggler, because that thing will probably hit, uh... Popple, or whatever his face is. I guess I have to hit him. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna tick him off? Or is he gonna help him? Oh, uh, he made him rage. No! You bastard! Did you see what he did? He almost killed us. So we need to use an Ultra Mushroom for both Mario and Luigi. This is the rest turn. It sucks because we don't have like the badge things anymore to like restore our HP. Uh, before that used to be the way I'd restore my health. There's actually this thing when I do level up. It's actually... It's a rank thing that's gonna help me... It's, uh, mushrooms will give me EXP is what I'm trying to say. God, that sucks how I got hit like that. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, let's just go ahead and attack him with this. Why is he in the freaking way? Like, that pisses me off. Like, get out of the way, you jackwad. Alright, we got a great... I don't know how many hits it's gonna take us to kill Wiggler, but he should be about dead. I honestly can't wait to kill this little freaking monkey. I'm gonna make sure he dies a slow and painful death. All right, let's pull it back. And get an excellent... Come on, Wiggler, die. Yes, Wiggler died. Okay, now that Wiggler's dead, we can finally kill Popple. He's actually a lot easier, and his moves don't do anything on us. Hopefully, he doesn't get the first attack. Because I want to heal, just in case. Say, what gives? Vanish, poof. Just got to deal with you mugs, and that treasure's mine. All right, there we go. Alright, awesome. So now we're gonna use an Ultra Nut to heal us both. That way with Luigi, I can just attack him right away. And don't worry, this guy's actually extremely easy. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna need another Syrup Jar. So I guess with the Mario, I wanna attack. With the Mario, I'll just use a Syrup Jar to heal Luigi. What the fudge? I guess I didn't tilt it. Alright, so he's gonna kick soccer balls at us. We're gonna hit him back in his face. And then that could either be a coin or a soccer ball. It's a soccer ball. And it hit us. Wow. Awesome. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and use a syrup jar on Luigi. And I hopefully attack him again. And this time, I hope we don't miss. Because that was like a clean 280 HP that we would have dealt on him. Just gonna make sure I aim it right. Alright, that's gonna be a great. It wasn't an excellent. Oh, I get it now. So if you have to target on the foe before, like, the thing starts moving up. Okay, that makes perfect sense now. In your face, sucker. Ah, oh, no! Mario died. Alright, cool. Um, <laughs> can't do bros because Mario's dead, so let's heal Mario with a one up deluxe. Since we have seven of those, that'll restore his HP all the way up to the maximum. And there you go, he's gonna attack. Do yourselves a favor, punk, and give up on that treasure already. Dude, we're not looking for treasure, you dumbwad. We're trying to stop you from stealing the treasure. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I almost had it. There was three more left. Okay, and now we're just going to do this, and I hopefully will attack him right away. Because I think I got this. Like, I think I figured out the trick. Oh, 
Okay, I didn't figure out any trick. He's way too tiny on my target. Like, it's impossible to, like, even see him. It's weird, because I never had that issue before. Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. Ha! Ha! Suck all that, wiener. Alright, let's attack him again with a bomb move. Mario's out of bro points right now, so whatever. I'll just, I'll just attack him with jumps from here on out. There we go, we got three more left. And this should be it. Okay, I'm just gonna just go for it. Let go right away, that's it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. There we go, we got an excellent... Did it kill him? How much HP does this have? What's with you dinglings out of the picture? The, oh, with you dinglings out of the picture, the treasure's all mine. Ha. <laughs> Alright, can we do we have we can do 3D red shell, I guess. That's probably like the weakest bro move right now, but still. That only requires four bro points. And we can definitely get like over a hundred HP dealt on him. I wonder how much that big bomb would take if I actually were hitting it with him. There you go. Is he dead? Yep, he is finally dead. And then we get a level up. Awesome! Ah, okay, that proved to be a lot harder than I thought because this is actually my LP file as opposed to my main file where I'm actually stronger. I don't know why on my main file I'm stronger because it's pretty much a copy and paste of like the original file. Oh, we didn't even level up. Are you kidding me? Because after this battle on my main file, I actually leveled up and then I got a new rank. Yowsh! Yowsh. <laughs> that really hurts. Why are you guys so mean? All Wiggler wanted to do was make a flower garden. The flowers and Wigglers are good friends. You're telling me... We fought over a stupid... F f f f f f f flower garden? Don't insult Wiggler's flower friends. You jerk. Wiggler makes you pay. Yow! That's it, I'm done with this stupid island. Sigh, why do we even involve- why do we even get involved with this mess? Well, at least Popple is gone now, and this island is better off for it. Speaking of better off, the house that was trying to be break in, that is the pillow collector guy's house, right? Maybe we can find a clue about the bedsmith. Alright, so that's what we're gonna be doing in the next episode. Uh, I wonder what's up here. Let's- let's find out. I wonder what is up here, where that will take us. Probably somewhere secret- ooh, what is that? Ooh. Oh, nice, that's all it did? What is back here? Ooh, rings! Alright, so we're gonna start off the next episode by doing these rings and seeing what it takes us to and what we can get out of it. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Goodbye.